How you doing people? In today's episode, we're talking about carpet. Premium designer carpet line, Anderson Tuftex. Now we use this all the time. I love this. It's amazing. It wears so good. It's very difficult to work with, but when it's finished, it's amazing. Now this carpet runner today was done because the people love their dog and their dog, Maggie, keeps slipping up and down the stairs. There's a picture of Maggie there. Now, this is a pretty common problem. People fall down the stairs, dogs fall down the stairs. There's Maggie looking up the stairs, wondering whether she should try it out. Is she scared of those stairs? And then there's Maggie trying out the stairs. So today we're gonna go over the before and after. Here's the before. Very, very slippery, very dangerous for people and pet. And so we were uh, hired to come in and uh, I made a couple templates for those crazy stairs at the bottom. And now I'm just gonna walk you through the install. Now there's the tools needed. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can see all the names of everything. There's a few there. Now, when I was doing this runner, I had to template this uh, landing. This landing is like, I, you can't call it a diamond shaped landing, but it was a very difficult landing. So what we did was, on the side of the stairs going up, we're about four inches off, and then we continue that around the uh, landing. But in order to get this landing in place, usually I start from the bottom and work my way up. I had to do the landing first so I could center, the landing with the uh, obviously with the stairs going up and then I could uh, attach my single stair on the bottom and uh, line it up with the landing just to be safe because if sometimes you know if you do the first stair and then you do the landing and then you try to do that turn you'll be a little bit off kilter so I had to set it up with those four inches there and then uh, uh, and then four inches there a couple staples in the side now this stuff does show stable marks a little bit, so you do have to wiggle in the uh, the stable gun in there in the pile to get them out. But um, uh, but th that's you know that's pretty standard. Now this stuff is really really difficult to work with, and not that it's bad carpet. It's extremely um, tough. It's an extremely tough hard textile it is comfortable on the feet but it will this stuff will never wear out this is amazing we've been putting in a ton of this you can check out uh some of the other videos we do the herringbone uh, a couple other patterns that have been pretty popular so here i am this is not usually how i do it i usually start at the bottom and go up but now i'm just uh folding over the nose putting pressure underneath popping one to two staples in to hold this in place and i'm usually popping a staple in every inch Now we're just gonna score it on the bottom. We're gonna pop in a few more staples and then we will cut uh, the excess off there. Now what I thought was great was I love dogs and I have two, I have a Husky and a Rottweiler myself and I love when people love their dogs so much because I know how I love my dogs and they go and they spend a ton of money to get a runner put in for their dog I just think it's adorable and we'll go over price point on what this runner costs I want you guys to have a look at it a little bit you can see the work that goes into it I had to go in there we had to do the template make sure that everything worked we had to cut the carpet up we had to sew the edges up uh, we had to install it and uh, there's quite a bit of work involved in this one and halfway up, these stairs go from, so that bottom stair is 41 inches wide. Then that matches, that maps to that 40 inches, 41 inches wide there. Then where the runner turns and starts its first set is 38 inches wide. And then halfway up the stairs, the railings go in on an angle by nine inches. And that goes from something like 38 down to 29 inch. So it was in, this, was, uh, this was fun. It was good, it was cool. It was great to capture it on film. So back to what we were saying about the dogs. We've got a couple of videos in uh, on the YouTube channel 
that uh, that we've done uh, specific, specifically for dogs. Now we were talking earlier about um, you might want to know you know how much this runner cost. This runner cost the price point was one thousand eight hundred and fifty. Now this is a premium, premium, one of the most expensive carpets that you can buy. Uh, meaning, you know, we could probably do this same staircase for half the price installed with pad. But uh, for this Anderson Tough Text, this premium top of the line carpet, 1850 is pretty standard. 1850 to $2,200 you can uh, you can spend on a runner. If you were to purchase just the runner from us off of our uh, direct carpet website uh, by the foot, we would sell you enough feet to be able to do your runner. You would still pay, you know, quite a bit of money to DIY this yourself, even if we supplied the carpet to you. It's just really, really expensive. It's from California. It's um, it's just amazing stuff. I don't have one complaint about this carpet. The only complaint, I guess I, I lied, the only complaint I have about this carpet, it's extremely difficult to work with. Like it's a good workout. So you can see I'm doing this all backwards. I never do runners like this. You can check out my other uh, my other how-to runners. That's why this is not a tutorial. This is more like a price point. How much would something like this cost me? This is a, a video about dogs and about about safety and slipping for people and pets. Um, to do this strange runner, um, well, I guess you would say strange landing. I really had to go backwards on this. So right now I'm going backwards, but then you'll see in a moment I'm going to go forwards. Meaning that I started with the landing and now I'm coming to the first stair and then I have to match the first stair now to the landing, which is very difficult. Usually it's easier to just cut in the groove and then bring the landing down on top of the cut pile. Now I have to cut this pile here and match this. So the best way to do that is to just make sure the groove is perfect. Now I took my time here. I wanted this to be perfect. So you're gonna see it's a little finicky work. I would not suggest this to anybody else. This is just my method for something very, 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 like I couldn't afford to make a mistake here. So then there I am slicing little pieces and then just taking little pieces off at a time because I do not want to cut the pile on that front riser. And then now I am just cleaning that all up, taking little by little by little until it's matched up perfect. The last thing you want to do is when you when you work so hard to, to make one of these custom stair runners is to go and ruin it by cutting. Now here's the normal way I would do things. So as you can see, this is now the the landing and I am cut, I am stretching into the first stair. So as as typical style, I will staple this, get it all in place. I will groove that um, carpet in front of the stairs. I will cut from the left and then cut from the right and meeting in the center. But that's how I got that to be perfect. 41 inches inch stair on the bottom to a 41 inch landing and that had to come up on that strange angle to match the next run of straight stairs now and the way I did it is you can go into some of the other videos I make templates I make paper templates which I didn't show here because I wanted to showcase this um, more for the work and for the uh, price point and and for the uh, uh, makeover you know stair makeover but you can check out the templates on my uh, uh, some of my other runner tutorials paper templates are amazing so here we are just cleaning up getting ready for the next run now I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through this whole thing uh, well I think we're just doing a couple stairs we'll put it into uh, uh, fast speed time-lapse 
and uh, but you guys get the drift. So usually when I do any runner, I always start from the bottom and come up. And this is how I normally do it. I don't come from the top down. So we'll just get that nice and lined up there. You can see there's a little stable mark, but we'll rub those out after. Sometimes the camera picks them up, sometimes the, the, the naked eye doesn't see it as much. It's a very tight pile, so very difficult to hide all the stable marks. So the best place to stable this stuff is the, the brown pile is lower and tighter than the beige pile. You can see there's a little bit of loop there on the beige, so I will split that loop and try to put the staple in there. Now under the nose I don't, but uh, on, the frame, on the face I do. Maybe a staple every inch, depending on the carpet. This stuff's pretty tough, it wants to spring back, so uh, we do have to put quite a few staples in to hold it in place. So now I'm just rolling out, and whenever you're doing a stair runner, you should always uh, use a tape measure uh, to uh, make sure you're staying even on each side, because the stairs are never straight, and they will walk on you from stair to stair. Now I have seen some other people use the tape method, um, that's great. If it works for you, that's fine. I just wouldn't want to have to pull all that tape off uh, After every stair, that's why the tape measure is good. Just checking, you know, that I'm four inches from the one wall on the left hand side That was my measurement for this all the way up four inch. So as long as I'm four inch, I am good So basically when we do a stair runner, we always do it the same way this is a straight stair. This is 38 inches. You guys are going to come up. It's going to turn from 38 down to 29, but this is a great uh, time lapse video to kind of see how that's done. Now we usually fold the nose. We pinch the nose like that just to make it a little bit more pliable. Listen guys, if you uh, like what you see, please uh, subscribe and uh, like and feel free to ask me any comments below. I answer all the comments and uh, if you're looking for any particular videos that you want to see, let me know about that too. There we go, you can see that angle stair coming up. We're just about done the video here, I hope you enjoyed it. We're not going to suffer you guys through too much more. That's where you goes from 38 to 29. It was a pretty serious stair. Then the finished result. Carpet stair runner for a dog. I noticed that there was some uh, stuff on Pinterest about the 100 best carpet runners for dogs. So it's a fairly popular subject. And like I said, we do tons. We do lots of stair runners for dogs. And that's where that stair kicks out from 38 to 29, it looks great. And Maggie loved it too. This is Keith Shannon for direct carpet. Thanks for watching.